Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. It is day 20 of this practice series and today we are going to be looking at octaves. We are diving straight back into the della sonorite and we are going to use it to really master our octaves today. I told you guys that this exercise is so fundamental to so much of what we do. So if you have not got this book, I cannot encourage you to get a copy of it. Uh, it is just so fantastic and it is so, yeah, it really just is like one of the like basic fundamental kind of like iconic flute books. So do get it. There are some other really great books that talk about, you know, ways to use the Della Sonorita exercises. I don't know. I just think every flute player at some point in their life should have at least opened and worked through and looked at this book once. It is incredible. So once again, we are just going right back to the original exercise, um, which we remember. All right, our good old friend. But we are going to alter this slightly to practice our octaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on G. And you can start also on F if you like. Perhaps maybe that's a bit easier. Let me start on F, actually. It's, a, it's maybe a bit easier to really feel these octaves. And we're going to go. And really making sure those octaves are clean. They don't crack like I did the first time. So. So in other words, we're going F high octave F and then F sharp. So it's kind of like that exercise, you know, going up semitones, but we're just jumping up the octave each time. It's a really cool way to practice octaves. I did do a video uh, a while back on intervals, also on high notes, how to play high notes, all of that stuff. I'm just going to put those in little icons for you guys. All that stuff is useful and, you know, beneficial for you to go have a look at. Just refresh your memory, especially if you are struggling in this area. If you aren't struggling in this area, you just, you know, it's one of those things you cannot actually practice enough. Um, our muscles are funny things and, you know, just like a sports person, we have to stay fit and in shape. So it's really a useful thing just to check back in with and make sure we have this under control. So I'm carrying on from F sharp. around with you can play around with how much you are actually moving here play around with how you know if you can try and move not too much and that you can really just very very little bits the reason being that we do not want to get too over moving here especially when we are doing fast octave movements and we're doing like fast leaps and jumps but at the same time and I really want to caution you guys don't let the throat do the, the octave leap. What, what it'll sound like usually is kind of like getting a tense and a tightness there. So you can hear the sound kind of gets like narrow and small and we don't want this kind of octave jumping. The really the feeling should be the lips and the support. Those are your two kind of controlling factors. The support controlling that air speed and the air flow and the lips controlling how that air is coming into the flute. Nothing else should be involved here. If you feel like you're getting a bit of tension, go back to the singing and playing. Try this exercise on singing and playing. So you can do... And then without... So for me, I noticed it made a huge difference. There was obviously just a tiny bit of uh, tension going on in my throat. I tend to have this, I know it's a problem, so I know that's something that I always have to check and work on and just make sure it's not there. Alright everybody, that was some fun with octaves. Keep at it, keep patience as much as you can. Happy practicing and see you tomorrow.